This guy invented this gun and happens to be a NASA scientist. Hi, Math Billy. I'm Lonnie Johnson. Lonnie is an amazing engineer from Atlanta, Georgia. He worked on NASA missions to Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars. He built top secret tech for the military, and he also invented this water gun. But you'll never believe how. See, 30 years ago, he was making a new kind of heat pump when this happened. I was testing it out and all of a sudden I shot water across the room. This made him laugh and then it made him think. Why not design an exciting water gun toy? So he did and he called it the Super Soaker. It went crazy for it. He sold millions and he also built Nerf guns. 30 years later, Lonnie's toys are still a huge hit. I love this. This is so much fun. This brings me back to my childhood. Lonnie is a genius. He has contributed so much to science. But his water toy invention made millions of kids smile. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Did you know that this book is poisonous? And this woman discovered it. Hi, Nas Daily. I'm Dr. Melissa and I discovered these poisonous books. Dr. Melissa is an expert on repairing old books. When one day, this happened. I was repairing a book and discovered that it contains arsenic. Turns out that in the 1800s, people loved this type of green, called emerald green. They used it on everything, even books. But to make emerald green, they needed arsenic. People knew it was poisonous but they used it anyway. One poisonous book has enough arsenic to kill three to four adult people. It will only kill you if you lick it, so don't lick books. If you find a book like this, go to our site to learn what to do. Luckily, no one has died yet from this poison, but the next time you pick up an old book, make sure you check the color. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. This guy takes 4 million pictures of Earth every single day. Hi, my name's Will. We've launched 200 satellites that image the entire Earth every day. While working for NASA, Will realized that we have very few pictures of Earth from space because satellites are too expensive. So he did something crazy. He and his friends invented a satellite that is 1,000 times cheaper and much smaller, the size of a loaf of bread. They sent it to space to take millions of pictures of Earth every day. Through these pictures, they discovered something shocking. We have wiped out about 68% of the life on the planet. The seas are drying, the corals are dying, the forests are dying. Just look at the change from just a few years. These pictures are proof that climate change is no longer an opinion. It is something we can see and something we can fix. All thanks to Will and his team. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. In the US, I found two people who made a microscope for only one dollar. Hi, I'm Jim. Hi, I'm Manu. Manu and Jim saw that poor countries have a lot of tiny monsters hidden in their water which can make people sick. And most of these monsters can only be seen by a microscope that costs $2,000. So they made a microscope which is 1,000 times cheaper because it's made of paper. You take this paper, fold it like an origami, assemble it, and just like that, you have a microscope that allows you to see objects 140 to 1,000 times bigger than they actually are. It's so durable that it can survive physical and water damage. With this price, they're able to make 500,000 microscopes and send them all around the world. This piece of paper deserves all the attention because it can help thousands of doctors inspire millions of kids and even save lives. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Meet Greg. Hi, I'm Greg, and I love making things simple for you. In today's world, many people are scared that science is too hard or too boring. Greg used to be a university science student himself until... I quit my degree to go live in the wild. And after a hundred days in the wild, sleeping underneath the stars, one, he started to look like Gandalf, and two, he noticed the stars shifted during his sleep. And that's when he knew there is something magical about the universe. 
He bought a couple of astronomy books and a binocular and taught himself. Whatever he learned, he taught others, but this time... Only using language that everybody understands. He was so easy to understand that in 23 years, he taught a hundred thousand people about the universe and inspired many to become scientists themselves. Greg is an example that science does not have to be hard or boring, it just has to be taught well. That's one minute. See you tomorrow.